Yeah. Thank you for joining us at nine. We begin with breaking news, shocking new video, and an arrest in a triple murder outside of a Northside nightclub. Elizabeth Matthews live, and we want to warn you, the video she has is extremely graphic. Elizabeth. Yeah, Don, new felony charges announced and new surveillance video of that Sunday morning shooting has surfaced. Like you said, it is incredibly hard to watch, but tells the story. And that suspect seen in that video is now behind bars. A brutal attack on a group of people outside a birthday party. It happened 2.30 Sunday morning near a Portage Park lounge at School Street and Central Avenue. Throw away the key. Get this person off our streets. Three people were killed. How about throw him off a bridge with a rope around his neck? Yeah. Well, the birthday girl. Look here, Mr. Charlie. Another, the 20. This is the three people. <laughs> yeah, so the girl did die. No, she 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 survived. They don't have a. They said triple either. murder. No, but. The, the, oh, he shot other, a fourth. Yeah, she, she's the fourth. She's the fourth. She was the one hiding behind the car, behind the van. Street yeah. and Central Avenue. Throw away the key. Get this person off our streets. Three people were killed. Another, the 25-year-old birthday girl, was wounded and still in a hospital, fighting for her life. Don't release him on electronic monitoring because he is a danger not only think about it you have to tell the fucking prosecutor to not release this guy on electronic exactly monitor. the fact that he even has to say that lets you know that we're living in fucking twilight <laughs> yep twilight zone. and he's he has to beg the da yeah he no he has not to, to let him her. out he's shaming her he's he's like hey, everybody look man look man he's he's saying it publicly to try to like you know, make it so everybody knows. Look, man, don't she? She gonna let him out, y'all. And she's trying. He's trying to half shame her and half um beggar. When this motherfucker kills somebody else in a month and a half, he's gonna be like, I told y'all, I didn't let this motherfucker loose. Man, this guy gonna kill somebody in a week. Yeah, that dude is. That dude got beef now. He got serious beef too. Oh, he's gonna be out here whacking shit. This is. This is literally the twilight zone. And the purge bill, the purge law starts January 1st. So this is not this is pre-purge era. Fighting for her life. Don't release him on electronic monitoring because he is a danger not only uh, to this community, but to the city of Chicago at large. The suspect is 32-year-old Samuel Parsons Salas, now charged with multiple felonies, including first-degree murder, attempted murder, and kidnapping, after police say he fled the scene with a woman he knew. Then he had driven away with another individual in the car, uh, and that individual is the victim of the kidnapping. He held her against uh, her will. Parsons Salas has been convicted of... Yeah, that's his son. That's his son. Son beat the... He looked like common, man. That's common. <laughs> it's got between oh, she, she kind of looked complicit with the whole thing. Yeah, I don't like that. That they're acting like she, she was not no fucking rich. She was too, she was cool. She looked like she's seen him do this before. Like yeah, she, he, he was just running errands. She was <laughs> getting in the car. Yeah, this is this is this is she's no victim of the kidnapping he held her against uh her will parson salas has been convicted of robbery she was kidnapped battery she and was on parole take off running as soon as his attention was gone this is that girl was just i i don't think she knew he was, i don't think she, coming there she thought he was going to do this but i think coming there she knew that if somebody got wrong with this guy it was <laughs> this, this, this was a possibility if somebody if, if, like she, one of them girls that's like, man, I, I have some, like, remember yesterday the girl who tried to run out of the phone store? She, when the guy locked her in, she said, I'm gonna have somebody come up here and shoot this place up. And I was telling you, like, you have to take that seriously because they know a guy like that. <laughs> yeah, I, like that. <laughs> I think she had to change her panties. <laughs> Yo. They know a guy like this. A lot of sun women know a guy like this. She'll be writing him love letters in it's prison. Baby daddy. Oh yeah. Or some guy 
that charging did up not the even commissary. fucking. I, you would be. I don't know. I'm not too stunned, but a lot of y'all would be surprised. A lot of these girls, they this guy in their life, they ain't fucking him. They just talking on they, like he the guy laying in wait while they got a boyfriend or something like that. Or he some guy that you know they they talk to on the phone every once in a while. You know what I'm saying? And you know what I'm saying? Blah blah blah. He trying and he'll jump out the window for them because he's trying to impress her. It's, yeah, it, but I guarantee I guarantee you she was she was uh um excited by that display. She looked bored. She didn't look excited. She just got in the car like nothing was going on. She literally looked like she was just in a different, um, she was photoshopped into that fucking video because she wasn't reacting to the gunshots. No, because she was like, God damn it, you doing this again? That, that's kind of <laughs> what her attitude looked like. This shit is crazy, man. This guy right here, though, whoo. Yes, sir. Sunday, Sunday. Uh, her will. Parson Salas has been convicted of robbery, aggravated battery, and was on parole for a 2010 home invasion. He was released only three months ago. Mm -hmm. Police say he was invited to the weekend birthday by a third party, but was kicked out. Why he escalated to killing three people because he was asked to leave a birthday party is just because he's a son beyond man. the pale. Police say they have video of him retrieving a weapon from a car before the brutal murders on the street, which included execution style shots. Those killed include 24 year old Mercedes Tavares, 26 year old Mario Pozuelos, and the birthday girl's father, 50 year old Ricky Vera. Oh, so he killed a girl. One of the people that was, oh, maybe the person that was helping the fucking father was a girl. They said Mercedes. Mercedes is a girl name, right? I got the old Beatles in the building. Mercedes yeah. is a girl name. That's the that's the left picture, old. more than likely. Yeah, I thought that was a dude that went to assist the father. He came up with ex he saw a girl like kneeling over the father, and he just came and blew her brains out, and then proceeded to. Was <laughs> on the street, which included execution style shots. Those killed include 24-year-old Mercedes Tavares, 26-year-old Mario Pozuelos, and the birthday girl's father, 50-year-old Ricky Vera. We hope that these charges, these, this arrest and these charges bring some small sense of justice to these families. He was arrested yesterday, about two miles from that shooting scene that again happened Sunday morning with the help of the SWAT team yesterday. The superintendent says that he is in custody tonight thanks to surveillance video and the help from eyewitnesses. He'll be in bond court tomorrow. Reporting live from CPD headquarters, Elizabeth. He, gets, he goes to bond court. 